This local sports report is brought to you by McFadden's Movement, a mental health initiative by Guelph Storm Captain Garrett McFadden. Join the movement today at McFadden'sMovement.com. Game 7, Waterloo, Listowel, opening period. What a goal from Winston Sesnick. He gets Waterloo on the board with a beauty. It's 1-0. Second period now, loose puck in front of the Siskins net. Brett Primo whacks it home. That's his fourth goal of the playoffs. We are tied at 1. Back the other way, Daniel Sempis pounces on the rebound and he puts it in. Waterloo is back on top. It's 2-1. But the Cyclones answer 20 seconds later. Keaton Willis fires from center ice and we are tied once again. Willis scoring from long range. It's 2-all. Later, James Ranson breaking in and from a sharp angle, he puts the Siskins back on top. Back and forth we go. It's 3-2 Waterloo after two, third period. The Cyclones looking to tie it up. Scramble in front of Brett Miller. Brady Anderson pokes it in. What a game seven this is turning into. It is three all. Late in regulation now. Blake Nickel near point fires. Trent Verbeek with the tip. And that goal is your game and series winner. The Cyclones rally in the third period and the defending Cherry Cup champions are going back to the final and it will be a rematch from last year. Once again, it's the Elmira Sugar Kings and Listowel Cyclones in the Cherry Cup Championship. The Cyclones taking Game 7 by a final score of 4-3 on Monday night at the Steve Kerr Memorial Complex. This was an incredible back and forth hard fought series between the Cyclones and the Siskins. Listowel taking it in seven games. For more highlights, visit our website, 519sportsonline.ca. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.